Hi everyone, this is a little sum up of the trip I had to Thailand uh, just recently. Uh, 23 days I had over there, uh, went to four different places, which was outstanding. So I started off, I got the flight business class, I got the flight to Bangkok, stopping off at uh, Istanbul. Uh, if I'd have known before, I would have just got a direct flight, but hey, it was my first time there. Uh, that cost me 2900 for the flight. I thought, because I had to stop off, it was like a 14-hour flight in the air. That's not including the, um, the waiting time at the airports. So I thought, uh, I want a bit of comfort, so anyway. That's what I chose to do. So I arrived in Bangkok and I stayed at the Akara Hotel, which was a lovely hotel. However, I think for Thailand, it was expensive. I had two nights in Bangkok and that hotel cost me 442 pound. Um, don't get me wrong, it was lovely, but you'll see as I go on the difference in quality for the area you're in in Thailand. Uh, the food, I probably spent £10 on food while I was there. Um, Chinatown was amazing. Um, it's a, a great place, Bangkok, but probably my least favourite out of the other three places that I went to. Um, Chiang Mai so I've got an internal flight there my three internal flights came to a total of £150 so it was Chiang Mai sorry Bangkok to Chiang Mai and then Chiang Mai to Krabi and then Krabi back to Bangkok so that was the three internal flights uh, I stayed at the Ping Vimen Hotel for three nights and it was £226. So already you see the difference. I had two nights in Bangkok. I had an extra night in Chiang Mai and it was half the price. And it was a beautiful hotel. Um, really like that one. That It kind of gave off that Thai vibe and experience I, I loved it there um, apart from the rain there was a little bit of rain but again I spent about 15 pound on food while I was there all the food videos are on the the DJ's food travels uh, channel on YouTube so I put all my food in one place um, hired a motorbike in Chiang Mai well a little scooter actually cost me about 30 quid for three days uh, quite reasonable <laughs> so that was that was Chiang Mai and then a flight to Krabi or Krabi uh, which is southern Thailand that was it was breathtaking it, it it got me quite emotional because we all have this dream of going to paradise and for me that was paradise it was an absolute dream um, there's a video of me sitting eight meters from the from the sea on the sand so it wasn't even a you know a, a partition wall or um, a promenade I was literally on the sand at a table having a meal when the Sun was setting it was magical so Krabby I stayed at the Venice Villa Krabi Resort, which was just out of this world. It was all wooden kind of villas on stilts, surrounded in water. Um, they had a, 
a 60 metre swimming pool there. It was just, I, I loved Krabby so much. Um, so that cost me 200 pounds. See, the prices are going down for three nights. And uh, that was amazing. It's like you you had your own little villa. Uh, I had a motorbike there as well, um, a bigger one this time. Cost me about sixty pounds for three days. Sorry, I've got a, oh, I've got an itch. Um, so that that was fantastic because I got to explore and it was the most amazing feeling. Just. Um, just riding around this beautiful, beautiful countryside and the mountains as well in, in Kwabi. And that's when I had my first chocolate banana drink, which I'm addicted to. Uh, food again was just pence. I probably spent between 10 and 20 pounds in the three days I was there. It was just crazy cheap. And then on to Pattaya. So from Krabi, I flew back to Bangkok and then I just grabbed a cab. It cost me about 25 quid, something like that. And it's about an hour and 20 minutes with no traffic from Bangkok to Pattaya. So, yeah, I wanted to spend the most time in Pattaya because I, I, I knew I wanted to relax after Bangkok, Chiang Mai and Krabi doing so much, you know, going around filming and it was, it was exhausted, but I'm so glad I did it. So Patea for me was to then, right, breathe, you know, so yeah, I mean, a different part of Thailand again, you still have the amazing places to visit like the Sanctuary of Truth was just mind-blowing which was on a very recent video just all made of wood it was just incredible um, and I got all great comments from that it's just a shame that YouTube don't push my videos but hey one day they might recognize uh, some nice content and they might push it but so but by the way, I've had a lot of people saying that they're not getting any notifications anymore. So YouTube's gone a bit funny um, lately. So I don't know, maybe go make sure you're subscribed. So just click on the subscribe button and just see if it's uh, ticked subscribed. And maybe click the little bell because that notifies you each time I upload. So yeah, it might need a bit of rebooting. I don't know. But um, I've got some merch as well. I say merch, it's not really. I was just, everywhere in Thailand, you have a bottle of beer, you get one of these. And it's a, a beer cooler. And it's just, it really does the job. So that just goes on there. There you go. So you've got a great grip as well as keeping the beer, beer cool. So I had they, those done while I was out there. And then you've got the, it's not the blowing of the wind, it's the set of the sail. Because that is what I've always tried to encourage. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're a fiver, by the way, plus postage so just something that I, I just think they're great I, they do really keep your beer cool as well anyway let's go back so Patea I stayed at the Ameth Amethyst Hotel uh, 12 nights so that cost me 1630 pound so again quite expensive you can get very cheap hotels out there for 20 pound a night you can get a guest house for a little bit cheaper. But don't forget guys, this was my holiday and I like staying in nice places. That's me. You can stay in the 20 pound a night places by all means. 
but for me it was my holiday of a lifetime um, it was eight months in the making so that's how long it took me to you know get ready for this massive trip to Asia and what a trip it was uh, I hired a motorbike there it was cost me about 179 pound for 13 days and that was a 250 Honda so uh, I think that's very reasonable I've been to other places in Europe and uh, you can pay that for two days so 13 days yeah absolutely food was very cheap uh, in all of Asia to be fair Thailand is a very very cheap place to eat um, you can eat as little as about 80 baht uh, their currency for a Thai meal so that's about two quid if you really want to go back street um, like I did in Chiang Mai um, you can pay as little as, as 60 baht um, but I I just wanted to show you like the the back street and uh, the tourist areas um, and even the restaurant I went to a beautiful restaurant in Pattaya um, and I paid 25 quid but for three courses you know so it's a very very cheap place to eat and quality food everything is fresh which I love so there you go that's that's kind of my solo travel to Thailand sort of summed up I can go into much more detail you know about uh, how much a tuk-tuk was in Bangkok and but I can't really remember to be honest because you do so much I mean the Buddha temples in Chiang Mai are just amazing there's there's temples all over Thailand but Chiang Mai had had a lot um, and they were just an eye-opener you know you you learn to respect the respect just unbelievable so this might be a good time to say that I have some massive news coming up um, I'm gonna leave that to the next video because I think you've seen enough of me uh, for today but um, Thailand took a piece of my heart and um, yeah am I gonna go back absolutely I, I, you know what I, I don't know of anybody that have, has been to Thailand and never returned because it's just one of those magical places and there's so much more to see I, I would love to visit Vietnam and you know Koh Samui is that like too touristy now I don't know but you know I still like to visit and Phuket which is another touristy place but hey I live in one of the biggest tourist places in the world and I've been here uh, for a long a long time now um, I was born in London, brought up in Margate, and then came back to London for work about 10 years ago. So, yeah, I love London, but um, let's wait for the next video. But uh, for now, thanks, thanks for listening. Uh, it's been good to reminisce and go back on um, the trip. Just the most wonderful place so uh, people were asking me on Thailand videos when are you going back to Tenerife it's like wow you know I'm in one of the most beautiful countries of the world and you know don't get me wrong I love Tenerife but <laughs> let me enjoy Asia for now and let me tell you Tenerife was always there Thailand is there so thanks for listening thanks for taking your time out to um, 
play the video and listen to the the prices and the, the little adventures I had. Um, I hope it helps some people. Um, I hope I inspire people to go and visit. So thanks again. Uh, tell your friends, family, acquaintances and colleagues because they might like these videos as well and they have never heard of me yet. So maybe give them a nudge and say, have you heard of this guy, Darren John? These videos are all right and they might like them. So thanks for now, guys. I'll see you in the next one.